Hi, my jar of pickles. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, with Keto Lifestyle still working for me. But here's the deal <clears throat> that will lead into the topic of the day. So I was walking in to get my nails done yesterday, and this woman says to me, Oh, I love your hair. And she had long hair, and it was up on a clippy. And she said, I just love your hair. I need something different, and, and that's what I want to get. And I, I laughed at her not at her, with, with her, and said, oh, that's funny because to me it's getting too much out of hand and I need to make an appointment to get it cut. <laughs> Women. Now, that's just us. This could relate to men, but growing up female and being a female and relating to females, it feels female to me, but you men can always pipe in. Women... A lot of women I know, most women I know, are in transition. Whether it's having the same hair color and they decide to switch it up and suddenly there's blue streaks or purple streaks, or <clears throat> the hairstyle that changes, or a standard nail cut color, like some people do French manicure forever because it's easier, and then one day you see them with bright salmon or, you know, uh, purple or something like that, and they say, well, I just got bored. Well, guess what? Here's where it relates to us. Some people can't do keto and they switch it up. Now, in my, in my life, my daily life, besides um, recording these silly little bathrobe keto under 20, yay, thank you, Miss Joyce, um, chats, is also answering people and I get a ton of private messages and most not most some are just because they like that personal one-on-one -on -one private touch they don't want to make their life totally public but a lot of it is true confessions and in these true confessions people are saying I can't do keto anymore it's just not working for me now I honor the person writing it not their food plan because as most of you know here I talk about the emotional balance and contentment I get mine right now from a keto lifestyle two months ago I was keto under 20 strict 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 and then lo and behold for like the past four weeks I have added a few more carbs meaning a few more vegetables into my daily food plan and I feel better and it seems to make me content and I'm not anxious about having 25 carbs and all is lost. Why? Because I weigh myself for, uh, one time a month now, which also lessens anxiety, and I weigh in that range that has always been my barometer. I weigh between this amount and that amount, like in that two pound range, and I'm totally okay with it. Today I was smack dab in the middle of that two pound range and the humidity is 99%. So that works for me because I always retain. When, when, when the outside environment is retaining humidity, I do too. It's just I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. I'm a sucker for anything. But anyway, so two of my, um, maybe more than two, but definitely two for sure had to get away from keto. It stopped working for them. And so one is doing Wonder Slim and finding it very content making and calming and anxiety reducing. The other one is doing Weight Watchers because the keto stopped working. And so, um, you know, she asked for my support first and then help. And I said, if you go back to the beginning of my 900 plus videos, you will find plenty of Weight Watcher, um, Weight Watcher podcast, keto, Peter, uh, <coughs> Weight Watcher hauls, Weight Watcher what I ate in a day. But if you go back and you watch and listen to my emotions for for all of these uh, two and a half years. 900 plus videos, you will hear that the skill, the skill set, the toolbox, the toolkit that I have 
is transferable. So say today I went back to Weight Watchers, I still have the skills, the weighing, the measuring, the tracking. And so this woman will do the same. Um, she has an app for her points and she will do the same. The other one is more of a disciplined food plan where you have um, shakes and a bar during the day and I believe then you have your meal at night. But both are working for them for whatever reasons they have. And so that's, that's who and what I honor. And the reason I'm saying this is because rather than stick to a food program that's making you either um, irritable, discontent, unhappy, and not satiated, why not step back and relax whatever it is as long as you take your toolkit, your skill set with you, the discipline of what will work. Because ultimately, that's what it is all about. And for me, the Weight Watchers, when I did it, it got me situated, right? It got me used to a certain amount of points. The parameters were defined, so I couldn't go over those points. So even though I was having different food items than a keto under 20 food plan, I had, I had my <clears throat> dark outlined world of what I could have, what would fit, and it worked. I guess I am a rules-oriented sort of person, or guidelines, or um, structure, whatever, whatever words you want to apply. Um, some could go as far as to say OCD and anal. Okay, I'll take it. I don't care. Um, and so, when that works for you, you can transfer whatever discipline and um, tools you have gathered along the way and move away. I would rather see you leave the keto community and continue to be sane up here and allow the foods that you think you're missing to happen again and not gain weight than to see you slip and slide in keto and have binges or just major leaks, you know, a cheat meal turns into a cheat week, things like that. Getting honest with yourself is necessary. If the keto's not working for you, find a thing that does. But make sure that what happens keeps your head calm, disciplined, seeking structure. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see the difference? So these two women knew it wasn't working for them. And they stepped back, they stepped out, and they found a solution. Rather than, and we've seen it, People stepping away from their keto food plans, you know, first you stop seeing the podcast and then comes that food funeral that they don't, they aren't podcasting, but the next day is the weigh-in because this time they're going to do it. They're really going to do it. And the weigh-in gives them the results. They've gained 15, 20, 30 pounds, and now they're going to get back on it with a strictness. And that happens, and I honor it. And you can always message me. If, you have, if you st you're still watching me and you're not doing anything close to keto <clears throat> and you're afraid to come clean, well, at least you're still watching me. It's like, the person, it's like the person that can't stop drinking that goes to AA because they know they're desperately seeking some sort of thing that's going to make their, their brain snap in a good way to wanting to take care of themselves and give it up. So rather than struggling with keto, you're still watching here, you're hoping that there's something in these bathrobe chats that gets to you, good for you. Private message me. I honor what you're doing and who you are over whatever program you're on. You see a lot of this. Um, Tristan from Primal Health had a podcast about, you know, is keto the only way? And he says no. Does he picture himself doing it for the rest of his life? He says no. And then you watch another person like Jason Whitrock, and they have carb days where they have 150 carbs. 
I mean, to me, that's stepping out of the program for a day. If it works for them, if they're happy with that, because of my food addiction, I would still need a label of some sort of food plan to follow with still the tracking, the structure, the discipline, if you see what I mean. So, <clears throat> and on the chronometer, it will give me all the information that I need to have without being like a Weight Watcher app or something like that. You know, it just tells me what I'm eating for food. And, and I've always compared my calories to my points or my calories to my carbs. It's just how I roll. So the calories and the scale are two barometers that keep me kind of in that outlined box, along with the pixie pants and the jeans and how things fit, right? But all of that makes this comfortable, content, sane. Because this is the whirly gig that once it goes, then the rest of all of that structure and discipline that I still have some control over goes away, if you're following me, right? So if my head starts getting squarely and antsy and um, irritable and discontent and crabby and then crabby with other people, and then, you know, the relief is the food, which is the problem, which ends up being more of the problem, blah, blah, blah. See what I mean? So, if, if I keep that structure, no matter what my program, I saw that I needed a little something, something. So I added the five carbs of veggies to my under 20. And it works. It works for me. I'm on maintenance. My weight has been the same for six, seven months. It's stabilized, so I figure I'm as low as I'm going to go. I'm at that set point, and it's okay. And so the deal with the five extra carbs worth of veggies, we're talking green beans and cauliflower crumbles here, is that at the end of the week, when I weigh in again the next week, if there was a drastic difference, then I would go back to the under 20. I would see that I stepped out of my boundaries, out of my my personal guidelines. So if you're finding that keto isn't working for you, I guess my suggestion is not to start playing around with those uploads and refeeds and carb days and cheat meals. Find something that works for you. If it's not Weight Watchers, if it's not Wonder Slim, if it's not Nutrisystem, if it's not something like that, and then you start doing counting calories but you still have a guide like the chronometer that will give you your macros, that will give you your fats, proteins, and carbs, but you, 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 know, you give yourself, okay, no more than 1,500 or 1,400 or 1,300, but if you get into that starvation mode for your body, you're going to know, or I want to let you know, that once you start eating regular, like 14, 15, 16, 1,700 calories a day for a woman, and you've been at that starvation mode of 11 or 1200 calories, guess what? You screwed up your metabolism and it's going to make you gain. So just be really careful with the games you play in your head thinking, you know, you're not 20 anymore. I don't know if anybody that's 20 watches this, but you're not. And so don't play the games. Just take an honest assessment. Private message me. We can work on this together. I'm not all about keto under 20 for everybody. I'm not screaming from the rooftops, this is the only way to go. Right now, my keto under 25 is the only way I'm going. It's working for me now. I'm on maintenance. The scale says the same. The pants say the same. Up here is content. Up here likes those few extra veggies every day. And so I, I ain't sweating it because it's not broken. But if your food plan is broken and you're struggling with keto, to the point that you're cheating on keto, then maybe it's time to make some changes. Just for now, just for permanent, who knows? It's your journey. And you are the person that is controlling the rest of your body. And you know when something's a hit and something's a miss. And so if you have to get away from here to then get back to here and say, yep, it is keto, and you've suffered some metabolic damage from maybe eating things you're not supposed to, it's another lesson learned. And we have, not, 
Do you ever learn from the gravy days? I don't learn from the gravy days. I learn from the pain and the little things along the way that aren't making me happy, that make a change in the scale, make a change in the pants, make a change in my head. That's where I learn from. It's like, oh, something's off here. What can it be? So, don't beat yourself up. Don't struggle with a program that's not working for you. If you're doing keto and you think that you can't talk to me privately because I would only beat you up, no. My Sarah Smackdowns are about discipline, structure, routine, and not SADing a keto lifestyle, meaning shakes and bars and things like that. Keto is keto. And if you follow the structure of keto, that's one thing. The other programs are the other programs. But trying to bring standard American diet ways and foods and lifestyle into the keto lifestyle could make it all clash. And you don't want that to happen. So finding something and sticking with it is important, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. I can't eat certain things in safety. And a bite or two of something that's on the way to my particular binge foods will get me into trouble. I've already learned that. But that doesn't mean that it can't work for you or it won't work for you, but the lessons learned. My, my toes stubbed aren't going to be your toes stubbed. We each have our own journey. And sometimes other programs work the best for you, especially under a certain situation. And so private message me if you're not doing keto or you're struggling with keto, but don't act out while doing it, right? It's like, it's like somebody in a marriage that's not happy and they cheat versus getting out of the marriage, right? So don't infuse one way of eating with another way of eating that are diametrically opposed. So I hope this hasn't confused you. I hope this has helped with any squirrels in your head that um, are nesting and um, <clears throat> having babies that are making for more little squirrels and you want, end up being cray cray over trying to stick to something that you're eking out um, and doing other things to damage it. See what I mean? Like stick with the person you go to the dance with, right? So this has been Sarah in kind of a whirly gig sort of thing, but I think some of you will get the thread of this. Thanks so much for watching my pickles. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Keto under 20. Might not be for everybody, but that is okay. It doesn't mean I can't be in your corner. I get it. Bye-bye for now.